Um, so a lot of the time working with remote teams, uh, there's different people in different time zones. Um, uh, and there's a pretty cool feature of Google Calendar, which lets you display multiple time zones on the left here, which is super useful. So I've got uh, Toronto and the UK. So this is like my local time here. Uh, and this is the time in Toronto. That's super useful because um, I work with people in Toronto a lot. Uh, but there's also this feature over here, which is um, is basically uh, a, a world clock. So you can put as many time zones as you want in here. And that tells you the time now in a whole bunch of different places. Um, so I've got Toronto, Vancouver, Edmonton and France. But the cool thing is when I go to create a meeting, um, if I stick something in here, it will change uh, this bit on the left to show the times of that meeting, uh, which is super, super useful if you're trying to work out when we'll fit because you can kind of drop a thing in here and if it's not right, we'll, we'll maybe move it a bit further back and it'll show me that that's eight o'clock in France, um, you know, 11 a.m. In, in Vancouver and 2 p.m. in Toronto, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, uh, I would suggest if you work with people in more than one time zone, turn this on, uh, absolutely turn it on. Uh, and the way that you turn it on is by going into the settings um, and if you just go down to time zone, this is where you can turn on a secondary time zone uh, and add that second column on the left. And then underneath here is a world clock and you can add as many time zones as you want in here. So 100% should switch that on.